Hello, this is John Canalopoulos, uh, Clinical Professor of Ophthalmology at NYU Medical School in New York City, New York, and Medical Director here at the Laser Vision Institute of Athens, Greece. We talk a lot in our glaucoma patients, and especially after a glaucoma uh, valve, how to go through the hypertensive period of that valve placement, which is usually between month one and month three. It's a time that the body is trying to scar over the valve and create a bleb. And the actual bleb, the actual square millimeters of the surface of the bleb is the filtering part of the valve, the amid valve that we usually use, not the valve itself, because the valve flap opens when the pressure is 10. So all valves should have pressure of 10, but they don't. After an amid valve, the pressure is usually somewhere between 20 and 22, because the, the pressure is determined by the bleb created from the body over the valve. So in order to en enhance that effect, once the pressure of the eye reaches the point of over 17, 18, we have patients do digital pressure in their eyes. And it's a very sensitive way how to do this. We avoid the word digital massage because when you use the word massage, pa patients usually push and release, push and release. So as you will see in the video, we want to identify the orbital bone inferiorly right here. The space between the orbital bone and the eye, which is in between, and if I push this, I'm not pushing at anything, I'm pushing just between the eye and the inferior or orbital rim. We want to identify where the eye is and push upwards and inwards. So up and in, to the extent that it starts to be uncomfortable. It should not be painful. And this has to last for 60 minutes. We're going to see an example in a patient in just a few seconds. And we need to do this, we like for patients to do this four times a day. We usually start once the valve pressure has reached a level that is high again. Remember, the first week the eye may be in hypotony because everything drains very efficiently and some of the incisions leak as well. And then our concern is choroidal diffusions and not pushing on the eye. So that's the period when the initial, usually the initial week or two, the eye is hypotonic to be careful about lifting weights, squeezing, even in the bathroom. Uh, but digital pressure should be done in the way you will see in a little bit and the way I just showed you. I hope you find this video interesting. Thanks very much for your attention. Okay, and here's the clinical example in a patient. We're seeing the uh, left eye of this gentleman. We have uh, placed a tube. I measured, I just measured his intraocular pressure and it measured. Uh, at uh, 12, and we need to add six uh, because he has a thinner cornea. His central cornea thickness is uh, 480. So his pressure prior to what I'm doing now was in essence 17. So I'm pushing, as I'm trying to show the patient, I'm pushing up and towards the inner part of the eyeball as if I'm aiming towards the center of the eye. So I'm going to do it one more time. I'm pushing for 60 seconds. I have a, a clock clicking to the uh, extent that the patient is not in pain. I want him to feel firmly that there's pressure in the eye. You can see I'm not touching the eye. I'm pushing under the lower eyelid. And I'm pushing upwards. And I'm giving you a side view here. So I'm pushing up. So again, I'm feeling between the globe and the uh, periorbita. And now I'm pushing upwards and inwards. And this should be slightly uncomfortable, but not painful. Again, we don't want to do this the first week because the eye is hypotenuse. And plus, we can flush things out. And this is, in essence, the digital pressure technique. We use it four times a day, 60 seconds a day, by the way. After doing this for a minute, 60 seconds, the pressure dropped to measured 6, so calculated with uh, tachymetry adjustment to 11. Hope you found this video interesting. This is John Canalopoulos signing out. Thanks so much for watching.